Fourth Diwali just around the corner. We are getting excited to share some delicious festive recipes. Joining us is, is Vijaya Silveraju. <laughs> I'm excited to eat your food. Yes. And she's going to show us how to make crispy spinach pakoras. We've got a shrimp biryani plus a delightful carrot halva sundae. Yes, that's carrot right. Carrot sundae. Yes, we're tr transforming carrots into a dessert, which can only be a good thing. Yes. Yeah, it's delicious. All right, we should remind everybody that you can scan the QR code and get all of the recipes up. But let's start with these pakoras, which are my fave. Yes, crispy, crunchy pakoras made with spinach. If you think you don't like spinach, think again. Okay. These are nice and easy. So I have some chopped spinach here, to which I'm going to add some chickpea flour, which is going to make it nice and nutty. Mm -hmm. Cornstarch, which is going to make it nice and crispy. And this is the fun part, seasoning things up. So I have some sweet red onions. Yep. And then some Thai green chilies. Do you Ooh, like things spicy? I do like a little yeah, bit of heat. Yeah, we love that. So okay, as many good. as you want. And then I just crushed up some cumin seeds I and smell. coriander seeds. You can smell that. Oh, it smells so good. So fragrant when you crush it up yourself in a little mortar and pestle. Some garam masala, a little bit of salt. Yes. And then all that's left to do is add a touch of water. Beautiful. And then you're going to stir that up until it forms a, a, like a thick paste that holds together. Yes, right? so it looks a bit like, well, it looks like this. It looks done. like this, right? So it's nice, it holds together, and then we're gonna drop it into a little bit of I'm gonna let you do that, oil. I just destroyed that one. <laughs> sure, that's okay. I usually pinch it like this. Okay. And then we drop it into the oil. Okay, I'm and this takes like about three to four minutes okay. to fry up. Not too long, and they'll be ultra crispy. We have some plated can up I here. Try, can I reach across yes, you please. be rude? Yes, okay. no, go for it, with a little bit of tamarind chutney. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, listen to that crunch. Right? Mm -hmm. We love a little bit of ASMR in your morning. Okay, what's your <laughs> trick for getting it extra crispy? Extra crispy, so you don't want the oil super hot. So I would say about 350 is a good way to go. Mm -hmm. And then you want to cook it until the bubbles subside. So that's all that excess moisture leaving the pakora. Okay. And that way you're left with a super crisp final product, which mm. is amazing. Oh, so amazing. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> listen, one of my other favorites is biryani. I yes. Mean, this looks like it could be trickier than the pakoras. Yes. You know what? It's a mystery no more about biryani because biryani is just a layered rice dish and this one is particularly easy because it's a shrimp biryani and you don't even have to cook the shrimp before oh. it goes into the oven. Okay. Right? So we have this nice spice base of tomatoes, ginger, garlic, Thai chilies. Yum. We mixed it in with a bit of yogurt, some shrimp and layered up some herbs on top. So mm -hmm. I have fresh coriander and mint, which I absolutely love in yeah. biryanis. Makes coriander it nice, and mint is delicious. So together. fragrant. Some rice that I've cooked with a few aromatics, so some black peppercorns, a little bit of cinnamon as well, and bay leaf. Yum. And this is just half cooked, so it's not cooked all the way through because the cooking is gonna finish in the oven. Okay. And then we're gonna sprinkle over some saffron water. So saffron is the world's most expensive spice. Mm -hmm. A little pinch goes a long way and it has this beautiful uh, floral aroma and golden color, yeah. which lends to the festivities of Diwali. So it's absolutely perfect. And then I have some ghee, clarified butter, because this is a rich holiday, oh, Anne Marie. Yum. This is the one that you don't count calories. Right. You just eat them all. I was saying to you before, this is one of my favorite holidays because of the meaning, the Festival of Lights. Yes. Uh, good, overpowering evil. And I also just love the color and the food. And it's a bit, I've noticed, it's a bit like Christmas in that people celebrate and do their gatherings even before the actual Yes, day. I actually went to the Diwali gathering this Sunday. So yeah. it's whenever you can, wherever you can, with friends and family. The most important thing is to spend time together and really enjoy. And eat together. Together. Can yes. I feel a little bit of this? Yes, Can please. Can I eat it right from the serving dish? Yes, please. Good. So this Sorry. goes into a hot oven, 400 degrees for about 25 minutes or so. Oh, that's really good. And then the rice is nice and tender, mm. the shrimp is perfectly cooked, and you have oh, a really stunner good. of a main plate to bring to the Bali party or to host Beautiful at Beautiful on uh, the plate and better in my mouth. <laughs> um, let's talk about those carrots as a sundae. Yes, so who knew that carrots could be transformed into a dessert? We have gajar kahalva or carrot halva. Basically, it's carrots that have been grated and then cooked down with butter and condensed milk, Ooh. cardamom and saffron. Again, those similar flavors uh, coming into play again. And then you can add some nuts, pistachios and almonds. We have some raisins here today. And because I like things over the top, <laughs> uh, Anne-Marie, yes. I decided you know what, let's turn this into a sundae. So imagine- A little bit of ice cream. The warm, it's like a fudge, right? So it's a yeah. carrot fudge Ooh. with that cold scoop of vanilla ice cream or gelato on top. It's the perfect pairing. You have the warm, the cold, they're yeah, both I'm sweet. Try it the ice cream. Sure. Oh yeah, that's really good. Do you like that? I like the texture of it and I yeah. love the flavor. And the color is, again, beautiful. So festive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, happy Diwali, because I'm not going to see you later on this week. But thank you for coming in to thank share Thank you recipes. so much. Happy Diwali. All right, we'll be right back.
If you liked that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.